Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. Just going to get the timer going here. Alright, so first order of business. As you can see, there is only one thing currently seen in this shed. And there's our Great Plains. If you see off to the uh, left side of the screen, there's a little bit something different sitting there. Well... Our buildings and everything have been done. So we did some rearranging around the farm. So we'll go ahead and show you guys what we got going on. So we got the harvestor silo here. Um, for our silage, we got our New Holland chopper wagon sitting up next to it there. So here we got one of our new buildings. This has um, our hay or our cattle farming equipment in it so we'll go ahead and we'll start in the back here I think and work our way up to the front so since we're starting off a little smaller I decided to go with this uh, Forshrit E303 swather just a little swather uh, I mean it's a foreign brand swather but it'll work it'll get the job done and then we got a New Holland S2200 chopper with our uh, corn head on the front of it and then we got the uh, Kuhn speed rake SR 300 here moving on up we've got the uh, bale trailer the auto bale loader from the Anderson DLC and then we've got the hay buster H1130 processor uh, we've got the New Holland roll belt for was it 460 or 450 460 uh, round baler we got uh, H&S 3137 nurse spreader and then a Huel 4000 um, slurry spreader and then we got our Kuhn Knight um, RA142 mixer wagon uh, all tucked away in this shed here then we walk over here we got the two bay commodity shed so we can grind our grass bales into one side and our straw bales into the other if we so decide to and then here is our cow barn uh, as I mentioned before not buying any animals yet one bad downside to this barn, um, as you can see right here, this is up in midair. So for us to get into our straw uh, feed point, it's impossible from this side. So that means my commodity shed is kind of going to be in the way. But uh, I may go ahead and sell it and rebuy it and just move it over a little bit. So that way we can get in here. We can get in with the mixer wagon far enough to get up to the trigger, put in the straw, and then we can just back on out of here. Um, kind of wish I had uh, paid more attention to it when I placed it. Should have probably gone with a different barn. But what can you do? Um, here we got a trailer for um, our milk to sell our milk. Um, and then we got our two hay sheds here one for straw bales one for grass bales and then we have our uh, pig barn here again don't have any animals yet won't be buying any until fall and I put down the universal uh, silo so we can use this to buy pig food rather than dealing with pallets um, I moved the farm king auger over here I just felt like it was a little bit better of a position for it um, and then I moved our draper and sunflower header over into the grassy area right here and then if we uh, take a walk up into our other building here. So we got some machinery in here. We'll go ahead and we'll start in the back. So uh, I moved the Kinsey planter up in here if it's a little bit nicer. Um, and then we can use um, our shed where our Great Plains is. We can put uh, the, um, the pro-till and our fertilizer spreader in there. And then I'll probably eventually move our uh, side dresser in there as well. Um, and then move the backhoe and the brant uh, in here as well, along with the corn head. And then here we've got our uh, gooseneck cattle trailer that we have parked up in here. And then we have the Case 1570 um, Egger King uh, with a loader. This is the Sunset Special with a MDS grapple fork on it. And we got our Alice Chalmers 7080. And then we've got the uh, Farmall 1066 with another MDS uh, grapple bucket on it. 
Um, and then I believe I also have some stuff staying at the store. Um, that I just haven't gotten moved up here yet. Um, I believe I have a couple items up here. Um, yes, so I bought this cane uh, trailer uh, for loading pig feed into. Um, and then I also bought the Hardy Mega 2200 sprayer because I realized I did not have a sprayer. And with running weeds, we kind of are going to need one. So, field 76 is done being plowed and fertilized. We're, um, we've got our Alice up here on field 74, plowing under some lime. Um, I got a little more done than I had meant to. Um, I got lime spread on 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 50. So, we are currently sitting up here on field 51 um, with 7130 in the spreader. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get... Uh, get to work right away no sense uh, sitting here dinking around we're just gonna get right into it um, so if you guys remember from yesterday's video we were having some issues with some trees in some fields well I threw the map into Giants editor and I uh, unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to change the location of those trees um, probably gonna have to see if we can buy a chainsaw uh, or lease a chainsaw and a stump grinder and see if we can't just cut that tree down and get rid of it um, or those few trees that are bothering us just because we can't unfortunately do anything with them uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and spread over here right away just because it's kind of a connecting field anyway so I believe we do own this little grass no we do not um, yeah, we don't. I don't believe that we own that little grass field there. Um, but yeah, so we're down to four thousand dollars now. After we paid off all of our equipment, we were sitting about, I think, eleven thousand. Um, but with uh, our running costs and buying our lime and whatnot. Uh, while at the moment it's just our lime, but the prices of our lime is uh, sending us down. So we'll probably be in the negatives by the time harvest comes around, but... Um, which, I mean, that is another reason that we're not buying the animals now. Um, but I wouldn't buy the animals right now anyways, because we have nothing to feed them, so all that's going to happen is they're just going to die. Uh, so many of them will just die off day by day, so kind of pointless to be uh, buying animals with nothing to feed them. Uh, that's another tree that's going to have to get cut if we can. I'm hoping that we can cut these trees. It's going to be something I want to figure out I guess. I'll probably, maybe what I'll do is I'll just fire up a save game of this, um, a separate save game, and go in and see if I can cut them down and whatnot. See if that can't be done. That way we don't have to deal with it. Or else I can just take and uh, put something there or something like that. Make it so that uh, course play doesn't recognize that part. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're getting closer to done being spreading, or to being done spreading. Um, I think probably what we'll do, um, once we get done spreading, we can start planting our wheat. Um, but we just will have to wait for the plow to get further up here, because I want to put corn, um, in the two fields down by the farm so that way when it comes to chopping corn uh, we're not running the wagons quite so terribly far because um, I mean it is going to be quite a trek um, from up here if we're running silage wagons back and forth so um, just going to kind of make it a little easier on ourselves and uh, just go ahead and plant corn closer to home 
Oops. Just kind of smack into that tree there. But um, yeah, so our plow is getting close to done. And uh, probably what we'll do is probably we just run it on our own for uh, some of these little fields uh, for you know 25 through 29 because they're small enough that we can probably just run it ourselves uh, we'll see um, or I may kind of get some of that done off camera um, just so that way we can get into planting because um, we're gonna need to start getting some crop in the ground here soon Because um, we're going to run wheat, beans, corn, and sunflowers, I think, is going to be the goal. Um, mostly wheat, and more so wheat for the most part, to try and get as much straw as we can um, for feeding our cattle through the winter. Um, and, you know, taking care of our pigs as well. But, um, you know... Wheat and corn are more so going to be what we're going to plant the most of because um, those are what we need for the straw and then for the, you know, use of, si use of turning it into silage. So we're going to need to uh, do as much of that as we can. Um, we do have quite a few hay fields, so we should be good on hay. And... Um, I mean, if anything, we can try and double crop wheat. Um, I've never, I haven't tried double cropping yet. Um, let's see if that's even possible. Yeah, so. Wow, wheat can be harvested right away. That's, that don't sound right. Um, something tells me something's a little screwy with this geo. But, um, yeah, so. Oh, I know why that's. Uh, if you plant spring wheat, I'm guessing. That'd be my guess. Yeah, so, I don't know, we'll see. But, uh, I mean, I just want to get as much wheat planted as I can. For that purpose. Um, I haven't figured out a field plan yet. But I will get one figured out um, to use. Um, so if you guys notice, we are running better frame rate than the last video. Um, instead of using OBS Studio, I'm just using the um, OBS or the Streamlabs OBS. Uh, which is the program that I currently use for streaming and uh, that's working a lot better um, the settings for that are set a lot better so probably just gonna stick to using this program uh, plus the nicest part for me is that um, they have a app for mobile devices um, a remote so I can actually hit start and stop record from my phone so I don't have to worry about tabbing to my um, home screen or to my desktop to uh, start or stop the recording so that's going to be very beneficial um, that's going to help with the quality of the videos as well so that'll be kind of nice But our uh, Alice shouldn't have too terribly much longer left on that field that it's on. Um, I know just before I started recording I looked at it and it had 15 minutes left, I believe. So we should be getting close to done by now, which will be good. That will be one more field off of our list.
Let's hope everybody's enjoying this series so far. I know I'm enjoying uh, enjoying it. Enjoying doing it, I should say. Um, I really do like this map. It's one of my more favorite maps so far. Um, Medicine Creek did come out um, on Sunday. Uh, Sunday afternoon. I have tried playing it a little bit but um, I needed to turn my graphics settings down because I was just lagging like none other on it um, so clearly it's too highly detailed for my setup sadly um, wish I had the setup that I want but Eventually one day I hope to have that uh, where I have a custom built very high-end gaming desktop uh, versus running a laptop like I am now. Um, but that'll be someday in the future hopefully. So once we finish this field we are going to have to run back to the farm and go fill this up again. Hopefully we won't have to put any lime down next year. That will save us some time and some money. Because we won't have to plow next year. We can just go straight over it with the cedars. So that will save us some time there in the spring. Because we won't have to spend so much time ripping ground this stubble makes it kind of hard to see and yeah, we'll have just enough to finish this field uh, I fertilize or I've spread lime on field 50 and then these two fields here on a full spreader so it's not doing too horrible we're covering a decent amount of ground with a full spreader especially being way up here you know with it being such a drive back to the farm uh, it definitely helps that uh, we can cover a decent amount of ground before we gotta go back and fill it up again are done so next fields that we have are 49 55 56 and 57 and then we'll have everything spread Cars coming and it is so we're gonna go ahead and wait for them because they're going to slam into us otherwise. So I guess we could make out a field plan while we're uh, traveling. So let me go ahead and bring up my notes here. Midwest. 
Horizons Field Plan. So we have twenty five. Six twenty seven twenty eight nine and we have forty nine fifty fifty one. Two. And then we have fifty five, fifty six, and fifty seven. So, oops, that's our turn right here. So, seventy. Oh, and then we have seventy four and seventy six. My bad. So, seventy four and 74 and 76 are going to be corn, for sure. And then I'm thinking we'll do 25 through 29 all in wheat. Because, um, I mean, that'll be kind of close to home for hauling uh, straw bales. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll probably do 57, 55, and 49 in sunflowers, and then 50, 51, 52, and 56 in soybeans. I'm not so much worried about uh, combining much corn as I am about chopping it. Um, I mean, I would rather chop corn and have it to uh, use for feeding our cows than I would to uh, I need to look at something to make sure I did buy the right Harvest or silo because I don't want to have bought the wrong one and ended up buying one that doesn't turn it into silage. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull up under the lime auger and then I'll finish filling this out as to what is going to be what. Okay, so we have 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 are all going to be wheat. And then 49, 55, and 57 are going to be sunflowers. Oops, we're going to 57, not 56. And then 50, 51, 52, and 56 are going to be soybeans. So that's another $1,600 gone. Alright, so we, there we go. We got our field plan. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, go check on our... Alice here he should be yeah he's just about done showing another four minutes I suppose with this turnaround this time taking turning around and whatnot probably shouldn't have bought an articulated tractor to run on this setup but you know it is what it is I guess so let's go ahead and head back on up with this Go 
ahead and head on back up north and we'll get some more done. Probably gonna end up running out of time though, because uh, we got about four minutes left before we hit that half hour mark, so it'll be kind of perfect. Um, we're gonna finish up spreading the lime in tomorrow's video and uh, probably get it finished up I might do a field or two off camera and then uh, we'll finish it and take care of some other stuff uh, we will need to get the Demco tanks put on this tractor uh, when we get done with this because uh, we are going to use this tractor and the Demco tanks for spraying herbicide, uh, but we won't need to. We won't need to get that done for a little while, but uh, we will get everything hooked up. See, we got everything here spread and done, so we'll be all good to go there. I have been noticing that this tractor actually shows uh, the fuel level inside and that it's actually following along which is kind of neat So I think we'll go ahead and jump over here to field 49 first. Get that one knocked out. Just got to find the entrance into it here. We've got three other fields to spread, and then we'll be done with that. Alright, well, I think that's going to about do it. So, what I think I'm going to do... First off, I'm going to get around this corner here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and I'll finish this field off camera. And then um, 
I will probably do feel 57 and 56 and then when we come back tomorrow we'll do field 55 and then we'll get um, these taken back to the farm get them cleaned up get them put away or get the fertilizer spreader put away get the Demco tanks put on this and go pick up our sprayer from the dealership bring this back to the farm uh, probably get those two filled up and then we'll probably get our um, other magnum hooked up to the drill and probably get ready to put um, some wheat in the ground um, yeah I'll probably get some wheat in the ground and then uh, we'll be able to fast forward a couple days and get our soybeans and sunflowers put in and then we'll fast forward a couple more days and get our corn put in um, so yeah um, that will do it for today guys if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button uh, and perfect our Alice has finished that is perfect um, so yeah um, I'm gonna go ahead and get that done and I'm gonna get this guy moved now that he is done and uh, then we'll be back at it tomorrow so if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see and uh, check out down below in the description where you can find out my PC specs our upload schedule as well as my social medias and links to some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at so thanks everybody for watching Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.